Hey, Fight Fans, it's Ted Check. All right, so the UFC middleweight division has uh, historically been one of the most tumultuous in the UFC, in all of the UFC. Uh, just from titles changing hands and, and the number of, of stars that have come out of that division, and it just seems to be the most active and, and uh, sometimes controversial and, and definitely the most, as I said, tumultuous. Just all sorts of things going on, always, constantly, in... Uh, yeah, well, sorry about that. In the UFC middleweight division. So, uh, just recently, UFC 305, we had, um, what you saw there, we, we had uh, uh, Drickus Duplessis getting the fourth round rear naked choke win over former champ Israel Adesanya. So, this was uh, this was Drickus Duplessis' first title defense. So, what's next for Duplessis? Well, I believe Dana White was quoted as saying it was going to be Sean Strickland, former UFC middleweight champ, uh, who Duplessis won to to uh, to gain the title. But if you see here, Strickland he lost to Duplessis only by split decision. So that's 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 a very thin narrow margin. And then came back with another thin narrow margin win, a split decision win over Paulo Costa. So uh, and Costa's a top ten. He's number eight in the rankings. So therefore, I guess that uh, and everybody else is busy. So therefore, Strickland gets the nod. Um, and it's interesting to see, well, I'm jumping ahead of myself here, but uh, Strickland reacted to, uh, to Duplessis' win. He said, uh, time for war, Dutch man. And, you know, for those of you who don't know, the, uh, a, a lot of the white folks who are in Africa are, are known as Afrikaners, and they are actually from, they can trace their roots back to the Netherlands or Holland, whichever you prefer, which are the, the people that come from there are the Dutch. So uh, you'd never hear Drickus Duplessis referring to himself as Dutch, but uh, I would be willing to bet, unless he's French, Duplessis, it sounds very, very French. So maybe he's got some French mixed in there as well. Who knows? But that is why, that is why <laughs> Strickland is saying Dutch man, because he's, he's kind of, he's, he's trying to trigger him a little bit. He's trying to, he's trying to needle him. By saying, "Hey, man, you're Dutch. Don't don't call yourself a South African. You're Dutch." Um, and then you know you can you can always depend on Strickland for that. He's going to cut right to the chase, and he's he's gonna uh, he's gonna look for any little needle that he can. So so in other words, uh, he said, uh, "Vegas man's talking about where to, where they want to fight. I always travel. Let me fight in my own country." Unless you want me to go fix South Africa. See, fix as in it's broken. See, he's again. Uh, and we can go to Africa and fight in front of a bunch of white people, laugh my ass off. So, you know, he's he's playing upon the whole apartheid thing, the white versus black thing in Africa and and the problems that South Africa has had uh, over the over the decades and centuries with that. So, OK, so it looks like we got Strickland versus uh, Duplessis. So what about Israel Adesanya? Uh, he, uh, well, what, yeah. Okay. So, so ESPN says, yeah, let's, let's have uh, Strickland versus Duplessis. And the wild card would be the winner of Robert Whitaker versus Hamza Shemaev. Hmm. Interesting. Now, uh, I think it was Duplessis who thought he should, he should fight Whitaker next. But, um, I mean, clearly he's already busy. Israel Adesanya, who should be next for him? He should get, uh, Hamza Shemaev if he loses. To Robert Whitaker, not if he wins, but if he loses. Okay, I guess if Hamzat Smaev wins, why am I putting a ja in there? Hamzat, Hamzat, Hamzat. I don't know. Somebody please help me out. Um. Okay, so so we're gonna we're gonna have to see what what happens. He, 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 so, bottom line is Adesanya is kind of on the shelf here. Likes to stay active. He's a very active fighter, but he it looks like he may be on the shelf for right now. Because they're not going to put him with just anybody. They want to put him with somebody up high. He's the former champ. But everybody, like I said, everybody's busy. Now, injecting himself into the situation. Well, here's here's the poster for uh, uh, Whitaker versus Shemaev. That is October 26th at UFC 308. Alex Pahea, former UFC middleweight champ, uh, who owns a, a win and... He, he's he beaten Adesanya and then lost to Adesanya in the UFC. Now he is the UFC light heavyweight champ, and he's facing this guy, Khalil Roundtree, who earlier this year was busted for 
a banned substance. Not sure if that was of the recreational uh, quality, you know, recreational side of things or the performance enhancing variety. But uh, anyway, he's, he's now he's getting a title shot. So I guess I guess all is good. It's the UFC. They do what they want. So Pahea has said he wants to come down and uh, and fight Duplessis for uh, for the middleweight title. Duplessis is like, whoa, 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 buddy. Why don't you just worry about your title offense with Roundtree, and then I will come up to light heavyweight and fight you. And uh, I think a lot of people are like, can we just put the brakes on this switching, uh, you know, switching weight classes thing? Can we just pump the brakes on it, please? Like Duplessis, you haven't cleared out the division, even though I, I don't like that term, clear out the division, because in my opinion, there should always be somebody that uh, next. There's always someone next. Otherwise, you know, you, you don't have a, a very uh, uh, robust division if you don't have anyone next. So you can never really clean out the division. I really uh, bristle at that, that phrase. But anyway, um, a lot of people like to jump divisions because they want to be champ in one division and, and champ in a second division. And they'd rather do it simultaneously uh, because there are very, very few people who have done that. Um, so they're always, you know, they're looking for legacy. They're looking to put themselves in the history books and they're looking to do it quickly because they know that, uh, you know, their time in the UFC is limited. You, you, there's only so many years, if that, that you're on top. So you've got to really strike while the iron's hot. Um, so that's why we, I think that's why we see people doing that. I mean, you know, legacy, probably money's involved in it as well. If you're a double champ, yeah, there's there's more money involved. So you're just trying to amass as much money as you can, as quickly as you can. But uh, I, I, I would rather not see Duplessis do that. I'd rather see him, at least not right now. Let, let's have him, let, let's see if he can defend the middleweight championship another, I don't know, three times. At least three times. Come on, that that you know if you if you want to be considered the greatest, let's focus on the greatest at middleweight, uh, and that's going to be a tall order because you know you've got other guys that have come before you that have been great, like Anderson Silva and, and others. So if he really really wants to be considered the greatest, he would need. I would think he would probably need to eclipse Anderson Silva's record uh, in some way. But anyway, let's let's move on here also to let's see. So that's Whitaker versus Shamayev coming up. Uh and what else did we have here? Yeah, so I mean that's that's essentially what we're looking at for the uh for the middleweight title picture. Um it's a crowded one. It's a crowded one, it, it's an exciting one. And um yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see if uh, Strickland can get uh, can have Duplessis' number. I mean, it was it was a close fight before, so so you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Um, definitely a chance. And, but yeah, I, I'd like to see. Uh, I mean, I'm just up for for the best fights, and and that I think is uh, you know I I think that's that's what we uh, what we have here. You know, that's what Dana White is always interested in. He says, look, I just want to see the best fight the best. And uh, and they've delivered that. Uh, you know, sometimes there's been some questionable matchups, but I think by and large, the UFC has delivered on that promise that there's no easy fights and that you're going to see the best versus the best, uh, you know, to the best of their ability. Because um, I'm saying best a lot. You know, to the best of their ability, they're going to they're going to set that that up. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for the for the UFC middleweight division. And I don't know. I mean, it's a pick 'em between Duplessis and, and Strickland. It really is, um, because they have such such differing styles. And uh, and we saw that in the first fight. And, and like I said, it was it was uh, it was a close one. It was a very close one. Um, this should be. I, I don't know. I, uh, Shemaev seems to be on a roll here. There are, there aren't too many people that that can stop the guy. I believe he's undefeated, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. He is he is a little low, and I'm not sure why that is. That he's at 11. Whitaker, uh, Whitaker's been champ. Um, I, you know, I tend to think that maybe, maybe. I mean, I wouldn't totally count the guy out because he's Bobby Knuckles, you know, he's Bobby Knuckles. But you know, just looking at it realistically, honestly, you know, his best days may be 
behind him. Um, but anyway, so let me know your thoughts on all that. It's it's a crazy UFC middleweight title picture. Who do you like uh, in these upcoming matchups? Who do you want to see Adesanya fight next? Or should he should he just kind of chill out for a little while, recover and regroup? Um, yeah, and should uh, should should Alex Pahea come down to middleweight? Should he not worry about that? A um, lot, lot of questions, a lot of questions. So let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you later.